so we were uh, we were talking about newton's laws and how newton's laws are uh, sometimes insufficient to find out the accelerations of moving objects when this happens then we invoke the concept of constraints and uh, we try to find out a relationship between the accelerations of objects which are connected to each other if they are connected to each other by strings then we use string constraints if they are connected to each other or if they are in contact with each other the surfaces of the objects are in contact with each other uh, then we use the uh, concept of wedge constraints right okay so like i said now things should be easy so we have a block of mass m block of mass small m connected by a pulley to a block of mass 3m and a force f is applied like this so you have to find f so that so that the acceleration of m with respect to capital m is zero find f find capital f so that the acceleration of small m is zero with respect to capital m आंसर सही बोल रहा है गलत बोल रहा है और ठीक है सो हाउ हैव आई आह हाउ हैव आई टोल्ड यू डू दिस क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू ड्रॉ द एफबीडी सो वी मेक स्मॉल एम एंड वी मेक Capital M, we make three M. Small M के ऊपर क्या-क्या forces हैं? M G, T 
see some normal reaction. Capital M के ऊपर क्या क्या forces हैं? Capital M G L one उसके बाद से three M की वजह से कुछ तो M two होएगा F फिर एक tension T यहाँ पे है और एक tension T यहाँ और एक M three यहाँ पे Three M के ऊपर three M G T and N two right we have done a lot of work in going FBDs so the FBD for capital M should not be mysterious. String character name, no problem. No, it's all there, I can't remember. String character name, no problem. String. It's a name connected. A capital name, so string. Pulli bhi toh hai na beta, pulli maas n ka part hai, I told you na, that whenever pulli is part of a block, then whatever force is there acting on the pulli is also acting on the block, you remember when we did FBDs? Jab humne FBDs banaye thai, so yaa ga na? So we have the FBDs drawn. Now what should I do? Okay, now I ask myself about the accelerations. And if I look at capital M, right, because it is in contact with the floor, it is guaranteed that the acceleration of capital M must be horizontal. So I will assume that the acceleration of capital M is A, right? I have to find this A. But then I look at the question and it says that the acceleration of small m with respect to capital M is zero. The acceleration of small m with respect to capital M is zero. What does this mean? So if you are, again, my favorite example or my favorite uh, thought process to understand what is going on is that of a train. So if a train is accelerating with acceleration A and you see a person inside the train who does not have any acceleration with respect to the train, then what is the acceleration of that person? The acceleration of that person must also be A. Right? Both must have the same acceleration. 
for the relative acceleration to be zero. So this means that this guy must have the same acceleration A. And therefore, this 3M must also have the same acceleration A, right? Why should it have the same acceleration A? Well, 3M is connected to M and M is stationary with respect to capital M. So if I am an observer who is standing here, right? So if I am an observer on the train, right? And if I see one passenger sitting on his seat and that passenger is connected by a string to another passenger. And if the first passenger is simply sitting on his, uh, on his, on his seat, then surely that means that the second passenger must have the same acceleration as the first with respect to this observer. So if with respect to the red observer, small m is stationary, then with respect to the red observer, 3m must also be stationary, right? And therefore, the acceleration of 3m must also be a, right? Okay, so now uh, let's write the equations. So I am going to write the equation along x-axis here because nobody has asked me to find n1. So I will write t is equal to ma. Okay? Here I'm going to again write along the x-axis because nobody has asked me to find n3. I don't want to get involved with n3. So here I will write f minus n2 minus T will be equal to capital M A, right? Now, for the last one of block, I'm going to write along the X axis and I'm going to write along the Y axis. So along the X axis, I get N2 is equal to 3M A and along the Y axis, I'm going to get See, along the y-axis, it, it is not moving, okay? Along the y-axis, there is no acceleration of 3m. So, t is equal to 3mg. The, these are the equations that uh, we get. So, now all I have to do is to find f to find f i must find a and this is very easy because t is equal to 3 mg and t is equal to ma so this implies that 3 mg is equal to ma which means that a is equal to 3 g right and n2 the value hame malum hai n Sir, this map ne bola ki third vertical acceleration zero hoga. Lekin sir, wo ho sakta hai na vertical acceleration. Sir, sir, bolo beta, mera volume bahut low tha, maine bhi volume. Sir, apne bola ki third three m me vertical acceleration zero hoga. Ha. But uh, vertical acceleration be ho sakta hai na so. Agar vertical acceleration 3m ka hoga to m ke saath kya hoga bachcha? Sir, wo horizontally jayega left uh, right. Lekin uh, yaha pe to likha hai na acceleration of m with respect to m is zero. To ye jo red me maine person banaya hai isko m move hote hue dikhai dega. Nahin. Agar 3m ka vertical acceleration hai. So, क्या ये रेड वाले ऑब्जर्वर को एम मास्क मूव होते हुए दिखाई देगा तो दैट इज नॉट अलाउड ना विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कैपिटल एम द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ स्मॉल एम इज जीरो सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द रेड ऑब्जर्वर द स्मॉल एम इज स्टेशनरी स्टेशनरी देयरफॉर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द स्मॉल ऑब्जर्वर 3m मस्ट आल्सो बी Stationary. And if 3M is stationary, 
this means that the vertical acceleration of 3m must be zero and the horizontal acceleration of 3m must be the same as the horizontal acceleration of m okay right yes okay so to solve this finally i will put f is equal to m a right m a a ki value 3 mg hai 3 capital m g plus n2 n2 ki value ye rahi 3 ma 3 small ma so this will become 9 mg plus t t is equal to m 3 mg so plus 3 mg this means that f must be equal to uh, 3 G M plus four M. Okay, this is the force which has to be applied in order to keep the masses stationary with respect to the. So I am uh, at the end of the chapter. I am going to teach you another method. Uh, the method of imaginary forces or pseudo forces which will make these problems very very easy okay they will make these problems very very easy but up till that point we have to use uh, whatever we have learned up till now okay so so next ha bhai bolo उट है और जो चीजें गिवन है इस केस में कैपिटल एम स्मॉल एम गिवन है मासेस गिवन है और हमसे एफ पूछा जा रहा है तो मेरे आंसर में कैपिटल एम आना चाहिए स्मॉल एम आना चाहिए और जी आना चाहिए इसके अलावा और कुछ नहीं आना चाहिए ओके सर मुझे ये नहीं समझ आ रहा आपने जो बीच वाले ब्लॉक के लिए ना नीचे की तरफ फोर्स क्या लिखा है एम जी प्लस एन वन प्लस टी सर टी कैसे आ रहा है बाउंड्री को क्या क्या टच कर रहा है सर हाँ एक फोर्स है और दो ब्लॉक है ये क्या है ऑब्जर्व तो करना है ना केवल देखना ही तो है ना सर नहीं लेकिन नीचे की तरफ टी कैसे मैं तो जो मैं जो क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा हूँ वो तो रिप्लाई करेगा तो मैं आगे बताता हूँ ना Okay. I am asking you a question, right? What what are the things that you observe that are touching the yellow boundary or breaching the yellow boundary? Sir, two blocks are. One force. No block. No, no, no. No surface. No surface. No block. No surface. 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 बस और कुछ नहीं है सर और यहाँ से फोर्स लग रहा है हाँ और एंड और, और तो नहीं है सर और तो कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है ये दिख रहा है सर को अच्छा ओके okay, हाँ, हाँ. ये दिख रहा है को हाँ, सर ये स्ट्रिंग किधर टेंशन लगाएगा ये 
ये स्विंग किधर टेंशन लगाएगा सर वो नीचे की तरफ लगाएगा और ये स्ट्रिंग किधर टेंशन लगाएगा वो सर उसके तरफ ब्लॉक की तरफ समझ गया सर समझ गया हां बोलो भाई सर इस केस में हम लोग को बोला था कि रिलेटिव एक्सेलरेशन जीरो होगा करके हमने 3m का y एक्सिस के अलोंग एक्सेलरेशन नहीं लिया लेकिन अगर रिलेटिव एक्सेलरेशन जीरो नहीं दिया रहता तो लेते हैं ना हम लोग कंसीडरेशन में बिल्कुल तब लेना तो सर फिर अगर सोचो यहां पे अगर रिलेटिव मतलब ऐसा हो जाता कि हम लोग को रिलेटिव एक्सेलरेशन दिया होता और सिर्फ x के अलोंग होता तो भी हमें एक ऐसा केस आ सकता कि जिसमें x को हमें इग्नोर करना पड़ेगा और y का ही सिर्फ कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा मतलब इस केस का वाइस वर्सा नहीं हां सर नहीं ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ऐसा नहीं हो सकता नहीं क्योंकि कैपिटल m तो केवल हॉरिजॉन्टल मूव करेगा सर नहीं इसके मतलब मैं पूछ रहा कोई और क्वेश्चन में ऐसे भी हो सकता था ना कि रिलेटिव एक्सेलरेशन दिया होता तो y के अलोंग कंसीडर करना पड़ता और एक x के अलोंग कभी कभार कंसीडर नहीं करना पड़ता यस यस ऐसा हो सकता है हां ओके सर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Next, you just just uh, wait a minute.
नहीं नहीं मैं ब्लू कोड हूं एक मिनट एक मिनट now i think i have this uh, i think i have this diagram correct find the find the acceleration of m एंड में वेर वेर इन दी एंड वो जहाँ पे भी मैं वेर एवर आई यूज़ दिस शेडिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग ना दैट मींस दैट इट इज़ फिक्स्ड नहीं नहीं वेज इज़ नॉट एट रेस्ट इट इज़ नॉट अगर वेज रेस्ट पे है तो फिर ये स्मॉल एंड मूवी नहीं करेगा ना Obviously, I mean, I'm in contact. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see. Ah, boy, contact me. He won't be there. So how will they both move? Where different strings are there? Here, there are different. One is string. मैंने कहा बोला था ना उसकी वेज रेस्ट पे है। I have not said that the veg is at rest. एम तो आंसर हो नहीं सकता ना उत्तर टी क्या चीज है वो टी
नहीं भाई नहीं है कोई आप पहले एफबीडी बनाओ भाई सब लोग पहले एफबीडी बनाओ उसके बाद से आगे बढ़ते हैं अब एक्सेलरेशन डिसाइड करो ये जो वेज है क्या ये ऊपर नीचे मूव कर सकता है इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर दिस वेज टू मूव अप एंड डाउन therefore the acceleration of the wedge must be horizontal so assume that to be a now if the wedge is moving horizontally okay if the wedge is moving horizontally that means that small m must also move that means that small m must also move horizontally because they are in contact with each other look at the surfaces in contact with each other the surfaces in contact with each other are vertical therefore the acceleration of capital m and m horizontal must be same yahi to wedge constraint ka statement hai agar do surfaces hamesha contact mein rehte hain I draw a point on the first surface. I draw a point on the second surface, and I draw a straight line through these points. The acceleration of the two blocks along this straight line must be same. So the horizontal acceleration of capital M and N must be same. But apart from having a horizontal acceleration, small m will also have a. Apart from having a horizontal acceleration, small m will also have a vertical acceleration. Assume that to be a y. Now, write all the equations. Write all the equations and tell me the number of equations and the number of unknowns. Okay. Remember that if you have assumed the कैपिटल एम का हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सेलरेशन ए है स्मॉल एम का भी हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सेलरेशन ए है लेकिन स्मॉल एम के पास एक वर्टिकल एक्सेलरेशन ए डैश या ए वाई जो भी आप दूसरा वेरिएबल चूज करना चाहो वो भी है नाउ राइट फ्रॉम द एफ बी डी द इक्वेशंस हाउ मेनी इक्वेशंस एंड हाउ मेनी अननोन्स वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन यस एग्जैक्टली राइट how many equations and how many unknowns there will be three useful equations right very good yes there will be three useful equations because you will not be really interested in the vertical equation of capital m that will involve normal reaction due to the floor nobody is asked you for that so you don't want that in your equations so the three equations will be one horizontal equation for capital m and one horizontal equation for small m and one equation along the y axis for small m how many unknowns are there please write these three equations tell me how many unknowns are there please write these three equations and tell me how many unknowns are there हाँ बिल्कुल सही धनुष यस बट थोड़ा कॉमन सेंस यूज कर सकते हैं हम राइट इफ यू यूज थोड़ा सा कॉमन सेंस देन वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट कैपिटल एम मस्ट बी मूविंग टू द राइट और टू द लेफ्ट हाँ हाँ बट बट यू कैन अज्यूम इट टू बी लेफ्ट यस यू विल गेट द आंसर एज नेगेटिव उसमें कोई इशू नहीं हाँ हाउ मेनी अननोन्स आर वी गेटिंग ऑन दिस थ्री इक्वेशन ओ 
three unknowns. That's it. Then Radhika, solve and tell me. Mg. First, let's agree on the uh, three body diagram. This must be the free body diagram that you have drawn. Please look at the left wala free body diagram. Yeah, please look at the left wala free body diagram. There's a tension tension. Boundaries above Remember, all pulleys attached to an object are part of the boundary. Are within the boundary, are part of the object. So, a tension to either aya, a tension to either aya, a tension to either aya, or a tension to either aya. Char tension to yana chahi FBD mein, left hand side. This is what you have to be careful about. Okay, now we assume that the acceleration of this is A like this, then wedge constraint tell us that the acceleration of small m must be a like this and the acceleration of this a y like this aapko lagta hai aisa aap string se connect kar sakte ho you think this is a string as a string possible hai try it dhaga leke aaiye or a uh, kitab ko try to uh, try to hold it in air with a string which is horizontal kisanna please send me a photograph on whatsapp when you have done it So now let's write the equations. The equations will be uh, for this left hand wall block P minus N is equal to capital M A right along the x axis. Then for this, capital N is equal to M A, and then we'll have. Mg minus T is equal to MAY. So three equations we get. Now how many unknowns are there? Unknowns are T and A. T in to A yoga or AY. Chota yoga. Char unknown hai or sirf teen equation hai. Then obviously we are not, uh, we are not going to solve this. It is not possible. We need one more equation. Anybody uh, has an idea where this one more equation is going to come from? Anybody has an idea where this one more equation is going to come from? The wedge constraint we have already uh, applied. The triangle set of nice Ah, it should be the string constraint should be the string constraint right string constraint mein kya hota hai? what happens in string constraints the dot product of the tension and acceleration on one block is equal to the dot product of uh, sorry plus the ten dot product of tension and acceleration on the other block must add up to zero right so string 
constraint. Please look at the left color diagram. Okay, acceleration is horizontal, right? Acceleration is horizontal. Remember that dot products become zero when two vectors are perpendicular to each other. So if acceleration is horizontal, will vertical tensions give you a non-zero dot product? Remember that a dot product between two vectors which are vert which are perpendicular to each other is zero, right? So will vertical tensions give a non-zero dot product with a horizontal acceleration? Will vertical tensions give a non-zero dot product with horizontal acceleration? Mera matlab simply ye hai puchne ka ki agar acceleration horizontal hai so should I even be looking at vertical tensions? Other acceleration horizontal hai, should I be even looking at vertical tension? No, I should not be bothered about it because vertical and horizontal are at 90 degrees. So if tension is vertical, acceleration is horizontal, the dot product is going to be zero. Other acceleration horizontal, hai, I only need to look at horizontal tension. So for the first block, I get Ta plus. Now I come to the second block. Second block may, ah, because it will be zero, yes. Second block may horizontal acceleration be a vertical acceleration be a, like in tension cable vertical. So therefore, I should have a dot product between T and A. T and horizontal acceleration will give me zero dot product. T and A, why? Look, they are opposite to each other. The angle between them is 90 degrees. And if the angle between them is, sorry, 180 degrees, not 90 degrees. T and A, why? The angle between them is 180 degrees. So this must be minus T A, why is equal to zero. T or T cancel ho gaya. A is equal to A, why is the fourth equation that we are interested in. A is equal to There is another way of finding this out. Okay? There is another way of finding this out, and I must, uh, I must tell you this way. So look at small m. Okay, look at small m. I am going to assume that this small m moves down by a distance of x. Okay, I am going to assume that this small m moves down by a distance of x. Now look at the look at the strings. In this case, only one string. If you look at the string, then the string can actually be thought of as being composed of three parts: between points one and two, between points three and four, and between points five and six. Ye string ke parts hai. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, and then 5, 6. 1, 2 wala part ka length kitne se bad jayega ya kam ho jayega agar m, agar m x distance niche chala gaya. Small m x distance niche chala gaya. Constraint equation may not be If tension or acceleration perpendicular to each other, then their dot product zero. It is not in our equation. I am giving you zero rupees. How many rupees do you zero rupees? Tell me. I will give you crores of zero rupees. I mean, just no problem. No, it is not necessary for it to lie in the same direction. So my question, I'll I'll repeat my question. I'll repeat my question. So if small m moves down by a distance of x, 
then the length of the string one two will do what? Yes. If small m moves down by a distance of x, then the length of the string one two will do what? If the small m moves down by a distance of x, then the string of the string, the length of string one two will also increase by x. Two three cannot change because वो तो पुली के ऊपर है ना, it will always remain the same. What about three four? Can you tell me what will happen to three four? Are you sure? Look at the diagram again. What will happen to the length three four? What will happen to the length three four? Three four will be same. Three four cannot change, right? Because the pulleys they are fixed. Ah, nothing happens. Three four remains the same. Now, if three four remains the same and one two has increased by x, then definitely what will happen to five six? Then definitely what will happen to five six? It will reduce by x. Okay. And if the five six length reduces by x, then what will happen to capital M? If the five six length reduces by x, then what will happen to capital M? If the five six length reduces by x, what will happen to capital M? Capital M will move towards the right. By a distance of exactly x, right? So, अगर mass m small m x distance नीचे move करता है, as a consequence, capital M will move to the right by a distance of, and this implies that a y must be equal to a, right? So, you don't really have to apply string constraints. It is not a necessity. अगर आप ज्योमेट्रिकली निकाल पा रहे हो तो ओके फाइन सो हियर सिंस ओनली वन स्ट्रिंग वाज इन्वॉल्व्ड आई कुड फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द एक्सेलरेशन बाय ज्योमेट्री ओनली एंड नाउ यू सिंपली सॉल्व द इक्वेशंस एंड यू शुड गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ कैपिटल एम व्हिच इज कमिंग आउट टू बी क्या बोला भागे आपने व्हाट डिड यू से आई थिंक यू सेड g by 3 राइट अब ये आंसर मुझे थोड़ा गड़बड़ लग रहा है मुझे इसलिए गड़बड़ लग रहा है क्योंकि यहाँ पे m और m आया ही नहीं है इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि अगर मैंने कैपिटल m को एक लाख टन ले लिया और स्मॉल m को एक ग्राम ले लिया तब भी एक्सेलरेशन जी जी बाई थ्री होएगा मतलब कि थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर होएगा और अगर मैंने कैपिटल एम को एक ग्राम ले लिया और स्मॉल एम को दस हजार टन ले लिया तब भी एक्सेलरेशन तब भी एक्सेलरेशन जी बाई थ्री होएगा यू अंडरस्टैंड बाबू आप टाइम टाइम को से दैट इज़ हाउ आई क्रॉस चेक एनी आंसर दैट इज़ गिव so we solve it again okay we work main dhanush aap yes distance wala method multiple strings mein nahi apply kar sakte ho aap distance wala method ek tarike se apply kar sakte ho jo maine sikhaya tha If you go back in your notes, you will find that. If you go back in your notes, you will find that I have actually told you a method to. <coughs> I have actually told you a method to uh, work out the constraints. एक बार उसको देख लेना method. Why you took minus T A Y? Because T ऊपर है. 
look at this. What is the direction of T here? T is up. And AY ka kya direction hai? Down. Angle between T and AY kya ho gaya? 180 degrees. Dot product kya ho ta hai? A, B, cosine theta. This case mein ho jayega T, AY, cosine 180 degrees. Cosine 180 degrees ki value kya ho ti hai? Minus 1. Acha M or M cancel kya ho jayega? Kya MG upon M plus 2 M. Yes. Haan, dekha, Dhanush, kya diya hai? Kaise diya hai? Go back a couple of lectures. This is this is the acceleration. Okay. I have written the answer. I have read my answer. I have written the 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 I have written the answer. I mg minus t is equal to small m a. So, add kar do. Tino ko utha ke add kar do. So, yaha pe t or t ka diya hai ga. n or n ka diya hai ga. Kya bache ga mg is equal to m a plus 2 m a. Numerator may mg on a Very good, yes, yes, yes. Haan, ay is equal to a agiana by so replace Cardona. Next. Now, this story is over. Okay. 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 Wedge constraints and string constraints. Ah, bolo bhai. Karo. Sir, pichle question me doubt hai. Sir, wo a a or a y nikalne ke baad wo to humne jo nikala hai wo acceleration ke component ho jayega na m k. Yeah. Sir, jo humne a nikala idhar wo to uska ah, x axis ke along yes, component yes, yes, yes. ho gaya na. Yes, yes, you are absolutely right. Very good. Thank you, Dhanush. So, what Dhanush has correctly pointed out is that the acceleration that I have written is only a uh, very good. Question. So, the acceleration that I have written is only the x component of acceleration. I have only written the value of x component of acceleration of small m. Small m is moving horizontally as well as vertically, right? So the net acceleration of small m, a net of m must be the vector sum of a and a y must be equal to root 2 a. Therefore, it must be equal to root 2 mg upon m plus 2 
this is the answer. Yes. Okay. Other T or A same direction when I take it, ah, plus or plus. Plus, yes, plus. Yeah, this is the final answer. Thank you, Dhanush. Very nice. Very good. Chalo. So let's move on to the concept of weight. Now I know that you have uh, studied this in class 10. But unfortunately, again, uh, like I have said before, uh, class 10 ka syllabus thoda sa uh, confined hota hai, thoda sa uh, narrow hota hai. Isliye aapko weight ka haan, four percent. Ab, ab aage badho vishwajee, ab idha rao. So, the concept of weight is actually very simple and in class 10 what you have been taught is a very very special case. Can anybody tell me then what is weight? Can anybody tell me what is weight? Weight kya hota hai? Kya cheez hoti hai weight? और ये सबके आंसर गलत है बिल्कुल सबके आंसर गलत है Everybody is answering unfortunately your answer is wrong नहीं 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 weight is a force बिल्कुल हाँ absolutely ये correct answer है weight can't be defined completely ये गलत आंसर है what is question one? I got disconnected. Question one to bahut pehle poochha tha na maine. Question one to ye raha. Ab isme main wapas nahi ja raha hoon. Force of attraction between body and the earth nahi. So I'll I'll tell you what the wrong answers are. Mg is the wrong answer. Okay. Uh, force of attraction between the earth and uh, Force of attraction between the earth and uh, the body. Ye bhi galat hai. Or koi definition. Mg is wrong. Force exerted by earth on body is wrong. Changes due to gravity. Wrong. Gravitational pull acting on the object. Wrong. Okay, now of course you may be wondering. Nahi, nahi, yaar. Tenth mein to bilkul yehi bataya gaya tha. Right. Tenth May, to bilkul yehi bataya gaya tha. To ye galat kyu ho ra hai ye? So the answer is that what you are writing as weight is actually a very, very special case. Okay. A very, very special case. So it's like asking, uh, you know, an alien comes along and an alien asks, what are humans like? तो हमने प्रसन्ना को सामने रख दिया यार ह्यूमन तो ऐसे ही है बस एलियन ने समझा कि अच्छा ह्यूमन ऐसे ही होता है बिल्कुल प्रसन्ना की शक्ल है प्रसन्ना की हाइट है प्रसन्ना का जो भी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं फिजिकल तो वो समझेगा कि नहीं वैसे ही है बस काम खत्म हुआ अब और कोई मोटा पतला लंबा चौड़ा कुछ नहीं हो सकता यही एक Human, hai. human as a youth, right? But that is what you are, that is uh, sort of what you are doing when you say weight is mg. Okay? Weight can be mg, right? Uh, weight can be mg, definitely. Uh, but that is not the complete definition of weight, okay? Now let me tell you what weight is. What happens? Lower pay weighing machine rakha and you go and stand on the weighing machine 
And when you stand on the weighing machine, the weighing machine tells your weight, right? What is happening? Now that we know how to draw free body diagrams, we can draw a free body diagram of this person. What are the forces acting on this person? Mg is acting on the person due to the earth. And a normal reaction is acting on the person due to the surface of the weighing machine. And the acceleration of the person is zero. Therefore, N is equal to Mg. Right? So since acceleration is zero, the weight, uh, the normal reaction is Mg. Right? Yeah. There is another way of measuring weight. Before I tell you what weight is, I'm just showing you how to measure weight. You can measure weight by keeping something on a weighing machine. There is another way of measuring weight. Can you remember what it is? Can you tell me what it is? Weight measure kar rahe hai. Weight kya hota hai? Isse abhi hume matlab nahi hai. Weight measure kar rahe hai. Excellent, Dhanush. Yes. So, Archimedes principle se weight kaise measure karte hai, bhai? Archimedes principle se weight measure hota hai. Haan, Manish, exactly. Yes, yes, Manish, exactly, yes. So that device is called something. Very good, Kushi, yes. So that device is called a spring balance. And I hope you would have seen it uh, when uh, when uh, that guy brings the gas cylinder at home. So wo, uh, labs mein hota hai, haan, labs mein spring balance hota hai, yes. और जब वो सिलेंडर लेके आता है तो वो स्प्रिंग बैलेंस से उसको लटका देता है रद्दी पेपर हां वेरी गुड यस हां हां यस 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 तो वो व्हेन द पर्सन कम्स टू कलेक्ट द द ओल्ड न्यूज़पेपर्स ही इज गोइंग टू वे द न्यूज़पेपर्स एंड ही डस सो यूजिंग अ स्प्रिंग बैलेंस राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ दैट हियर आई जस्ट वांट टू ड्रॉ दिस हियर so a spring balance then is suspended from the ceiling right and here you have some weight m and this is the spring balance and this is the weighing machine so the spring balance has uh, the spring balance has i don't know <coughs> some internal mechanism i will tell you what that mechanism is but for the moment i want to draw the free body diagram for m so mg is acting downwards and tension t is acting upwards right and since again i can write this expression since a is equal to zero uh, this implies that t is equal to mg okay since a is equal to zero t is equal to mg please notice that here n is equal to mg and here t is equal to mg and all you remember correctly so about weight is that weight is equal to mg so the hint is somewhere here so weight weight is a measure of either normal reaction or tension okay. this is this is very weird what 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 does this mean kya kya bolne ki koshish kar rahe hain so first let me take part a first let me take you up on part a let's put the weighing machine on an inclined plane okay, let's put the weighing machine on an inclined plane 
and let's put the person on the weighing machine like so. Now what will be the reading of the weighing machine? What will be the reading of the weighing machine? So if I draw a free body diagram of the person, then the forces acting on the person are mg and n. Right? And there will be some friction as well. We don't want to talk about that for the moment. But we want to take the axis like this. And if we take the axis like this, then this component is mg cos theta. Right? And I'm not bothered with the sine theta wala component. So since this person is not accelerated in this direction, therefore n will be equal to mg cosine theta. Right? And this then will be the weight of the person. This will be the weight of the person. So the weighing machine is capable of doing what? The weighing machine is capable of measuring the normal reaction. And therefore the spring balance is capable of doing what? Spring balance is capable of measuring the tension in the string. So, jab aapka raddi paper wala paper ko upar utha leta, suspended in air jab ho jata hai paper. So, jo paper hai, uske upar tension is equal to mg ho jata hai. And the spring balance is a device which is capable of measuring this tension. Right. And therefore, uh, the value of weight comes out to be mg. Agar weighing machine, haan, abhi, abhi hai, Manish, abhi and therefore, the weighing machine also is a device capable of measuring the normal reaction. Aap the inclined plane pe rakha weighing machine ko, aur aap uske upar khade ho jao, you will find that your weight is less than your normal weight when you put it uh, when you put it on the flat surface <coughs> i will stand inside a lift i will put a weighing machine here and ha huh, but you cannot tilt a spring balance no? Spring balance को कैसे tilt करोगे मुझे बताओ? Spring balance को tilt करोगे तो Tarzan की तरह उसपे लटकना पड़ेगा ना मतलब वो तो फिर swing होने लग जाएगा ना? You cannot hold it in equilibrium. Has to be in equilibrium. भाई अभी तक हम जो weight measure कर रहे हैं वो equilibrium में कर रहे हैं, right? So, uh, ho jayega, na? Spring balance kaise Chalo. so this person is inside a lift and uh, ha, there is no one repeat karne ke liya. So, weight is a measure of normal reaction or it is a measure of tension. Weight is the force applied by the object jiska aap weight measure karna cha rahe ho on the weight measuring machine and the weight measuring machine is measuring either the normal reaction or it is measuring the or it is measuring the tension in the string right so i am giving another example we have a lift inside the lift we have kept the weighing machine and you can actually do this experiment so if the, the lift is going up with acceleration a and i draw the free body diagram of this person then the forces acting on the object are mg downwards normal reaction upwards and if the lift is going up with an acceleration a okay if the lift is going up with an acceleration a then i should write 
एन माइनस एम जी इज इक्वल टू एम ए देर फोर एन इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू जी प्लस ए क्या मतलब है इट मीन्स लिटरली that every time you are inside a lift and the lift accelerates upwards your weight increases okay now i know that weight is a word that we use in our daily lives and therefore it gets confusing because the moment i say weight increases mare man mein aata hai ki aadmi to mota ho gaya no this weight the weight that we are talking about is a physics term and it has a water tight definition so weight means a measure of normal reaction and or tension so jab hum ek lift mein khade rahenge aur ye lift upar accelerate karegi then we will feel heavier our weight will increase you can check yes we should you can check you don't have to put a weighing machine in the lift aap lift mein ghuso aur lift mein upar ka button dabao and the moment the lift starts moving okay ya fir button dabate hi you start walking inside the lift okay small small steps you start walking inside the lift and when the lift moves up you will definitely feel heavier okay you will definitely feel heavier yes weight is a relative term yes absolutely the same person will have different weights in different situations theek hai na abhi t pe aa rahe ho utarsh abhi kudo mat yaar main main sab sab batao ha smith us pe bhi aa rahe hain if the lift will move downward then the weight will decrease yes it will yes rushik we'll we'll come back to this पहले ऊपर की बात करते हैं पहले ऊपर की बात करते हैं क्या हुआ विश्वजीत सर सर अगर लिफ्ट नीचे गई और जी से ज्यादा गई तो मास नेगेटिव होता है रुक जाना अभी रुक जाना मैं सब बता रहा हूँ क्या होएगा अभी नीचे वाला केस मैं डिस्कस नहीं कर रहा हूँ अभी करूंगा दो मिनट में करूंगा मैं पहले ऊपर वाला करता हूँ सो इफ द लिफ्ट इज मूविंग अप Ah, we should measure mass, and actually, we end up measuring mass. Right? So the weighing machine is calibrated not to tell you the weight; it is calibrated to tell you the mass. Right? So if I have a 50 kilogram block, ko maine weighing machine pe rakha, to uski jo reading aayegi, wo 50 aayi. Wo isliye ki जो वेट है उस ब्लॉक का जब मैंने वेइंग मशीन पे रखा दैट इज 50 जी राइट दैट इज 50 जी न्यूटन ओके एंड द रीडिंग ऑन द वेइंग मशीन विल बी 50 रीडिंग ट्राइज टू गिव यू मास अब वो मास और वेट में इतना कंफ्यूजन प्रोड्यूस हो जाता है कि किसी को पता ही नहीं चलता है कि हो क्या रहा है इट शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूजिंग फॉर यू बिकॉज मास and weight are physics terms they are also terms that you use in your daily lives those terms are separate physics wale terms are separate physics mein mass ka matlab we have already discussed it is the content of matter in the object and weight ka matlab normal reaction or tension on the object right so if the lift is going up then the weight of the person will become mg plus a and the person will feel heavier okay. now this has consequences what if what if this a is equal to 3g okay what if this a is equal to 3g then what will be the weight of the person the weight of the person will be 4mg that means that if that person was standing on the ground and whatever weight 
he was experiencing whatever uh, his own weight that person was experiencing when that person is inside the lift he will experience four times his weight now this is very very weird okay and in fact this has a term if you have ever heard of this term it is called the g force right so in this case the g force would be 4g that means that we are experiencing a force which is four times that of normal gravity so agar mera hath 5 kilo ka hai to fir mere ko lagega mera hath 20 kilo ka ho gaya and therefore when i try to lift up my hand inside this lift i will feel that i am actually picking up 20 kg right? it will be very difficult to move my arms yes 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 tanna very good yes now this becomes a problem when you want to shoot somebody into space because you want to give the rocket a very high velocity and to have that the rocket must have a large acceleration and this large acceleration produces a large weight so if you saw the uh, spacex launch which happened i think a month or two months back uh, then if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at the camera which is placed inside the cabin right inside the dragon capsule uh, in which the pilots were when the rocket when the when the falcon lifts off right when the falcon lifts off then the pilots the people the astronauts inside this rocket they start to experience g force right their weight increases and because their weight increases there are certain problems so if this a is equal to 5g n will be equal to 6mg right and the weight of the person would be six times that of the normal weight and the consequence of this will be that the chest will become so heavy that when you start to breathe in right your muscles in the chest they will not be able to expand and therefore you will not be able to breathe air will not go inside your lungs okay and this is a uh, this is when you will pass out you will faint because of the fact that you are not able to breathe you will faint and if we go beyond this then uh, then death is likely to occur now every human has their own threshold of experiencing g forces right nahi 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 wo wo different hai. I'll, I'll just I'll just tell you about that also. So when you when you when you experience this G forces, then uh, then uh, some people may pass out at six G, some people may pass out at seven G, and this is very critical for fighter pilots as well. So a fighter pilot will be moving in a plane. which will have or which can have very large changes in velocity suddenly upar chala gaya suddenly gol ghoom gaya these large changes in velocity means a large acceleration right and this large acceleration implies that the normal reaction of the person or the weight of the person inside the fighter plane is going to increase drastically in fact that is why these fighter pilots they wear that kind of mask thing right which helps them breathe in case uh, in case uh, g forces exceed their physical limits on a roller coaster yes yes absolutely on a roller coaster you experience these g forces right and the thrill of the roller coaster is actually the varying g forces that you experience so if the if the lift is going down now then what will be the fbd of the person well, the fbd will be same upar ki taraf n laga hoga niche ki taraf mg laga hoga 
but this time m g minus n is equal to m a, and therefore n is equal to m into g minus a. So in a roller coaster or in a lift, first first let's deal with the lift. So if acceleration of the lift is g by two downwards, the normal reaction will become m g by two, and your weight will reduce to half. You will actually feel very light. And if a <coughs> and if a is equal to g, then n is equal to zero, and this situation is called weightlessness. If n is equal to zero because of this acceleration, then it is called weightlessness. You will feel no weight. You will feel absolutely no weight, and this, I magic am here, sir. And this is what makes your brain, uh, you know, pump various different chemicals into the system. ये क्या हो रहा है? ये क्या हो रहा है? नहीं समझ में आ रहा है क्या हो रहा है? And that is what, uh, that is what makes it fun or exciting. The Anybody know the name of the chemical that the brain will pump in this case? It is called adrenaline. Dopamine करेगा तो सो जाओगे जाके. सो जाते हैं क्या? Adrenaline. हाँ, adrenaline pump करता है. Right. So this is. ज़्यादा वक़्वास ना कर सोए मैं. Pete दूँ अदर को. कब शुरू हो रहा है क्लास सो क्या बोल रहा है मनीष तू एक एक वर्ड टाइप करके भेज रहा है मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा है एक मिनट बस भेजने दे धनुष भी चुप रहा है क्या हाँ धनुष भी कैन लेविटेट इन लिफ्ट यस यस हाँ तो ब्रेन ही तो उसको बोलता होगा ना किडनी थोड़ी ना बोलेगी कि मैं पंप करने जा रही हूँ ओके खैर चलो सो यू कैन सो वेट इज कंपलीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम व्हाट यू हैव लर्न ओके वेट इज अ वेरिएबल क्वांटिटी Weight is a force vector. Weight must also have direction. Without direction, weight has no meaning. And for all practical purposes, now normal reaction is weight, or in the case of spring balance, tension is weight. Okay. Inside a lift which is going up, your weight will increase. Which is accelerating up, your weight will increase. And inside a lift which is coming down, your weight will decrease. What will happen if n is greater than mg? Oh, sorry, a is greater than g while going down. The question was asked. When a is greater than g when moving down, what will happen? When a is greater than g when moving down, what will happen? In negative weight. हाँ मतलब ये बोल सकते हैं नेगेटिव वेट वो आदमी ऊपर जाके चिपक जाएगा और ऊपर जाके चिपक जाएगा तो नॉर्मल रिएक्शन नीचे की तरफ हो जाएगा तो देन दिस मींस दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वेट स्टिल होल्ड्स बट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेट हैज बिकम अपोजिट नॉर्मल रिएक्शन अब ऊपर से नीचे लगने लगेगा अभी तक नीचे से ऊपर लग रहा था ऊपर से नीचे लग रहा हाँ भाई कुछ ही कुछ है सर आपने लास्ट क्लास एक क्वेश्चन कराया था उसमें सर दो ऑब्जेक्ट है एक वॉल से फिक्स्ड है और एक फ्लोर से फिक्स्ड था नहीं फिक्स थोड़ी ना था फ्लोर से फिक्स्ड हो जाएगा तो फिर क्या सर दो ऑब्जेक्ट थे वो कांटेक्ट में है और एक कांटेक्ट में है एक फ्लोर से कांटेक्ट में है एक वॉल से कांटेक्ट में है और दोनों एक दूसरे से कांटेक्ट हाँ सर वही हाँ 
सर उसमें ना आपने सेकेंड लॉ जब लगाया था तभी मासेस सेम ले लिया था दोनों का सेम ले लिया था क्या मैंने हाँ सर तो फिर एक्सेलरेशन इसलिए आपने टू लिख दिया था तो सर उसमें डिफरेंट मासेस होगा तो एक्सेलरेशन कैसे निकलेगा ये वैसे ही जैसे किया था एक्सेप्ट वहाँ पे M1 G आ जाएगा M1 A आ जाएगा M1 A1 आ जाएगा और दूसरे वाले इक्वेशन में M2 G आ जाएगा M2 A2 आ जाएगा मेथड बिल्कुल सेम रहेगा M की जगह M1 और M2 आ जाएगा बस सर एक और क्वेश्चन है सर एक क्वेश्चन है उसमें एक वेज है और उसके ऊपर एक ऑब्जेक्ट है और वो ऑब्जेक्ट डाउनवर्ड्स एक्सेलरेशन लगा रहे दैट इज नाइन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर तो सर उसमें कुछ दिया हुआ नहीं है कि वेज मूव कर रहा है कुछ बट सर वेज मूव करेगा उस सिचुएशन में क्या है क्वेश्चन फिर से बताओ सर एक वेज है उसके ऊपर ऑब्जेक्ट रखा हुआ है और वो ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सेलरेशन लगा रहे डाउनवर्ड्स कितना फोर्स लगाया वो निकालना है तो एक्सेलरेशन डाउन द वेज क्या होता है खुशी अगर वेज फिक्स हो तो उसमें कुछ लिखा नहीं है कि वेज हाँ हाँ मैं मैं हाँ वही बता रहा हूँ अगर अगर किसी एंड दिस इज़ फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू अगर किसी प्रॉब्लम में समथिंग इज़ नॉट गिवन फॉर एग्जांपल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ नॉट स्पेसिफाइड वेदर द वेज इज़ स्टेशनरी और वेज इज़ मूवेबल इन ऑल दिस केसेस यू विल टेक द सिंपलेस्ट सिंपलेस्ट वे आउट पे वेज मूविंग होना चाहिए कि वेज वेज स्टेशनरी होना चाहिए सिम मूविंग होना चाहिए सिम मूविंग होएगा तो विल मेक योर लाइफ इजी और विल स्टेशनरी वेज मेक योर लाइफ इजी नहीं सो स्टेशनरी होगा हाँ मैथमेटिकली की बात कर रहा हूँ मतलब आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट विजुअलाइजिंग और एनीथिंग Okay. वेज विल लाइफ इजी दैट दैट इज़ द पाथ यू विल टेक अगर नहीं गिवन है तो तो वेज के ऊपर अगर ब्लॉक को रखा वेज स्टेशनरी है तो उसका एक्सीलेशन क्या होता है तो हमने वर्कआउट किया था ना ऑन एनी वेज ऑफ एंगल थीटा द एक्सीलेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट डाउन द इंक्लाइन इज जी साइन थीटा Yes, and the way to remember it is the other inclined plane ka angle zero ho jayega to acceleration bhi zero ho jayega aur agar inclined plane ka angle 90 degree ho jayega to object vertically girega aur uska acceleration g ho jayega okay to g sin theta acceleration hota hai aur aapko diya hua hai that it is equal to 9 to g sin theta is equal to 9 that means sin theta is equal to 9 upon 10 sin theta is equal to 0.1 okay आया समझ में जो मैंने बोला तो अगर साइन थीटा निकाल दिया मैंने तो अब तो एन भी निकाल सकते हैं ना एन क्या होएगा अभी मैंने निकाला ना ये पिछले स्लाइड में एन की वैल्यू आपको दिखाया ना मैंने ये देखिए एन की वैल्यू क्या है एम जी कॉस थीटा एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू नाइन बाई टेन तो कॉस थीटा आप निकाल लोगे तो सीटा निकाल के यहाँ पे डाल दो आपका आंसर आ गया। ओके। चलो, सो आई विल आई विल स्टॉप हियर एंड वी विल डिस्कस वी विल डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेट सम मोर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टुमारो and then we will discuss the concept of uh, uh, springs okay? and then we will discuss the concept of imaginary pseudo forces and that will finish this chapter chal 
ओके आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास होमवर्क इज अगेन एचसीजी से न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन आपका कंप्लीट होना चाहिए बुकलेट में न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन आपका कंप्लीट होना चाहिए और जो असाइनमेंट्स दिए हुए हैं वो कंप्लीट होना चाहिए लेक्चर 4 क्या बोल रहा है पार्थ भाई तो मालूम नहीं है चलो बाय बाय